The Johnson & Johnson vaccine was approved for emergency use today by the FDA. It's the first single-dose vaccine available and will help speed up vaccination efforts here in Hawaii. With three options now in play, Nikki Schenfels tells us which vaccines people should consider. Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson prevents serious illness, hospitalizations, and death. Although Johnson & Johnson isn't as effective in preventing COVID-19 infections, health officials say it's better than no vaccine at all, and it does benefit certain groups. State health officials anticipate getting about 10,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson in the coming week. On Friday, Health Director Dr. Libby Char said the federal government authorized the production of a small amount to begin the rollout. But it's going to be very sporadic at first, and it won't be that much. And they said there's not a big stockpile, so the week after that we'll probably get nothing. And then thereafter, they'll slowly start ramping up what they're delivering to us. This single-dose vaccine is considered 72% effective, whereas Pfizer and Moderna are 95%. It has prevented 85% of severe disease, and to date, no one has had a, um, a fatality who got the Johnson Johnson shot. So it was 100% effective in stopping deaths. So it's really good. Green says Johnson & Johnson could be beneficial for younger people and people who can't get a second shot easily three to four weeks later. Hawaii continues vaccinating frontline essential workers and Kupuna 75 and older. By the time more Johnson & Johnson shipments arrive, the state hopes to begin vaccinating people 70 and older in mid-March. If given a choice right now, this is just me, 65 and older, I think stick with the Pfizer or Moderna just because the numbers were a little bit better. And I think the Johnson & Johnson is going to be super popular and effective with people on the younger side that have even lower risk than others. He says anyone under 70 who is healthy with no chronic illness can certainly get Johnson & Johnson too. Green says large pods like Pier 2 and Blaisdell will likely have vaccine options once more is produced and says because Johnson & Johnson can be stored in regular refrigerators, it could be readily available at pharmacies in the near future. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Nikki, thank you.